everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to potentially the most depressing video I have ever done. This is the Corpse Party Bad End Compilation. So a quick note for those of you who may have stumbled across this video on YouTube and have not seen my Let's Play of the game. Um, these are the bad ends that I did not get in my playthrough. So if you would like to check out my my Let's Play of it, feel free to, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, for those of you who have seen my Let's Play, I hope you enjoy this horrible, horrible compilation of just awful things happening to innocent people. So let's get into it. A black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a, mal a malevolent force. If this continues, death is inevitable. This feels so weird to just run right into it. To, like, welcome death. Let me go. No, no. Swish. What's happening? <laughs> the black mist begins flowing into Naomi's body through her nose, her mouth, her ears, her eyes. In no time at all, she's completely engulfed. With vision darkening and consciousness fading, the last thing Naomi ever sees is the wildly grinning visage of a woman she's never seen before. Except we know who this is now. We know that's Sachiko's mother, so it's kind of cool to go back and like connect the dots now of things that we didn't know before. All right, I feel like this is going to be the least bad one perhaps that I'm going to encounter that one wasn't too bad but I um Kishinema, where are you? Don't leave me all by myself. Oh! Oh. Oh. Man, oh man, the ones in these chapters are bad. Once again, he's going to have to see what he's done, knowing he caused that. Jesus. Wow. Is that... Sh Shinozaki? Shinozaki? Why? No, no, no. Oh. 
Oh, it's gonna get him too? Please, just end this. Well, be careful what you wish for, buddy. Why is this happening? What's the point of it all? Why the hell do we have to put be put through all this? Why? Why did you have to die? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Why do I have to see you like this? No. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been me instead? Once again, be careful what you wish for. Now they can be together in pieces. Ugh. God damn it. But man, I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what did this to her. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. That I'd protect her no matter what happens. This must be a test to see if I really meant this no matter what happens part. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Oh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, wow. He just crumpled. Well, guess he failed that test. Ugh. In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshiki's ribcage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. As he convulsed and writhed in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself. <laughs> Victim's Memoirs, 5 out of 5. If you are reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There is no hope of rescue. There is nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture is the nature of this place. I succumbed to my hunger and thirst. Began nibbling on that corpse again. There is no flavor, no sensation. Just meat and fluid to sate my empty belly. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore, but I broke that promise. Please. 
Forgive me. Oh shit! What the fuck? What did... Oh my god. What the hell was in my mouth? Tastes like blood, but... No, it can't be. This is definitely her, but why? Who the hell did this to you? Who was it? I'll make them pay. Shinozaki's Testament. It's a yellowed school flyer, presumably taken off the wall somewhere along the way. A short message has been hastily scribbled in pen on the reverse side. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm going to be killed. I'm going to be eaten. He's chasing me. And I can't keep running. If anyone should find this paper... I urge you... Bring him to justice. He knows. He's got to know deep down. The one who killed me for sustenance. My classmate. Kishinama. Oh my gosh. He's still eating her. Oh god, these sound effects though. I think this is the darkest one. I, I Can it get much darker than this? Than a friend cannibalizing his other friend? And crying as he does it? Jesus. I feel bad turning it down, not letting... You know, my little sister giving me a gift and I'm gonna turn it down. Although in the context of the whole, you know, how... Yuka feels this, there's a there's a level of ickiness to this as well. How about I not do that though? Yuka, I really appreciate the offer, Yuka, but I'd much rather you keep it. You're not the only one who's worried here, after all. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you either, you know? Okie doke.
You pay. Me got up to you. Nanda, so, so does it? He's staring right into my eyes. What? I can't move. Come with me. Big brother, don't! My body. My, my legs. They're moving on their own. Big brother, stop! Ooh, the spirit of the little boy stares at you with wide eyes and mouth agape, and he has no tongue. <gasps> it was only a few short seconds between the moment Satoshi fell and the moment he hit the ground, and there was really nothing he could do to prevent it. After all, he had no control when he inched his way towards certain doom, and he certainly had no control once gravity took over. Without even time to gasp in grim realization, he impacted upon the uneven floorboards below, and could feel his innards exploding outward. Yet he remained conscious for somewhere between a couple of seconds and a minute before his life officially came to an end. Staring up at the hole in the ceiling, just as his vision began to dim for the final time, he saw his little sister Yuka, who had jumped in after him. Damn, that's dark. She didn't want to be without her brother. Big brother! Oh, well, <laughs> that was... lame. Victim's Memoirs, 5 out of 5. Looks like I'll be dying soon, so I'm going to try to keep my fingers steady, just this one last time. The bleeding never stopped, and I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end, we never did find one another here, and unless you magically pop out of the shadows real soon, we never will. Mitsuharu, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpassed me in every way, always one step ahead no matter what we were doing. I kept telling myself that at some point, I'd turn a corner and you'd be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the beginning. If I should dream in death, though, then I know I'm going to see you when I turn this next corner, like I've been praying for all this time. We can beat up on each other like we used to. And I'll never have to be alone again. <coughs> Oh god, my, my head. A wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entire body. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an extremely narrow red room. His movements weren't his own. It was as if his mind were disconnected from his body, with no perception of surface or gravity or motion. After a sudden dip jarred his senses, he realized he was moving purely on nerve impulses, with no direction or control. Perhaps he'd been taken in by the curse, by the wave of negativity that permeated this space, far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. His shell of a body might as well have been a twig skipping across the ground in a windstorm. Uh, 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 huh? 
Without warning, his very sense of self had been completely destroyed, leaving him in a virtually lobotomized state. It seems the remnants of a man's tormented soul are indeed a thing best left untouched. For this dying message, and the curse it carried, certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what was once a boy named Satoshi. Alright, well, the, uh, the chapter three wrong ends, not too bad, especially compared to the second one. Like, the third ones are left more to your imagination, whereas the second ones are brutal and violent and gory. I'll... I'll save... No. I didn't make it. No. No, it can't be. A good friend who'd been smiling and laughing with me in the classroom only a few hours earlier was now dead, dangling limply from the ceiling in a dismal, dingy uh, bathroom stall. The mere fact that this had actually occurred was more frightening to me than any ghost. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself running, as if my life depended on it. I think I just wanted to get out of there, to get away from her body. I really think I just wanted to pretend like it never happened. It's all a dream. It can't be real. But my compromised mental state couldn't hold me back for long. I knew I had to face her again. Naomi. Naomi. Naomi, I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't save you. It's... It's my fault. What do I do now? Shinohara. <gasps> Shinohara, not you too. Damn it. Why? Why would you do this? Why do we have to die here? Give them back, you pi uh, piece of shit school. God damn it all. It's the body of Naomi Nakashima. Her eyes are open, but empty. There's no trace of life left to be seen. Why? Why is this happening? Oh. Hi? It, it's okay. Calm down, I'm a friend. D 
Are you all right? Please. Help me. Help me, please. Her front tooth is missing, and it doesn't look like an accident. My, Maya... My name is Machida. I'm an 11th grade student at a school called Kisaragi Academy, and you are... My... My name is Toko Kurosaki. I'm an 11th grader at Byakuden High. Okay, and my, uh, may I ask how you got here? There was... There was this charm from the internet, and we tried it. And all of us were brought here. A charm. Same as us, then. They all said we'd try to get out of here together, but then... One of them... Yuya... Went out of his mind, and he... Oh, snap! Oh, that's right! That's the... Oh, that's a... Uh, uh, why do I always forget his name? Uh, the dude with Yuka, the crazy guy. That dude. So, I like this. I like, you know, if you get this wrong end and you get these little tidbits beforehand. He pushed one of my friends down the stairs. He killed him. <laughs> then, with a smile on his face, he started playing with the body. See, I'm trying to remember uh, when he introduced himself. Did he say his name was Yuya, or did he just give his other name so we wouldn't know who this is? Or, if he did give his full name, if we had got this bad end and we'd remember, be like, oh no, this is the dude who is killing his friends. This guy is bad news. I ran as quickly as I could. That's horrible. Everyone... Everyone's going to go crazy in here. <laughs> oh boy. I can't trust anyone. Go. Get away from me. Okay, I'll go. Just please try to stay calm. Get away! Have you... Have you come to kill me too? <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. I won't let you. I ain't done with my homework yet, so you think I'm just gonna sit back and let you kill me? She's got a pair of scissors. I mean, I don't know what Satoshi expected when he said he was going to kill someone. I'm... I'm so sorry. Oh, damn. Can't... stop bleeding. It hurts. I think you struck an artery. I mean, she's justified in this. He did say he was gonna kill her. I'm so cold. I think I'm dying. So cold. Cold. Yuka. Yuka. 
I'm sorry. You're on your own now. You... <laughs> I'll come for you. My God, I've been stabbed. But I'm okay? How is that possible? When Satoshi found Seiko's cell phone, he went to put it in his pants pocket, but Naomi's was already there, and there wasn't enough room for both. So he put it in his breast pocket instead. And that just so happened to be the exact spot where Toko's scissors struck him. Seiko's cell phone had absorbed the brunt of the impact. Shinohara... Are, are you okay? What the hell is wrong with you? Where did you get these scissors anyway? Satoshi threw the pair of scissors into the corner of the room. It's no use. She's too far gone for conversation. Alright. I miss you. I wish Miss Yue were here. Oh, I'm so happy to finally have some more interactions with Miss Yue. Poor Miss Yue just pushed to the side for this whole damn game. Mochita, are you alright? Miss Yue, I can't believe it. I was just thinking about you. Oh, was that her who yelled his name right before he got stabbed? And I, you, Mochita, you were in trouble just now, weren't you? I feel so bad for Nakashima and Shinohara. But I'm just so grateful to see at the very least you're still safe and sound. Miss Yue. You've done very well. Now come, we'll look for Yuka and the others together. Miss Yue, I'm so, so tired. Oh, what? All right, I can use this door like a bridge. I don't know how, but I made it out in one piece. I sure hope nobody was down there. This really hurts. Right arm is broken, completely dislocated. Ooh. Ugh. These descriptions, though. It feels like it's clinging together by muscles and sinew alone. It hurts so much. I have to hold it together with my hand. Oh, it's so gross. Just like her arm could just fall off. 
Ugh. She's so brave. She deserved better. She... Shinozaki, Kishinama, please be okay. I'm coming to find you. You say your students aren't listening to you? I just don't know what to do. I feel like I've lost the will to teach. Hmm. I receive emails from their parents and guardians every single day. They say I'm a teacher who gets no results, that I'm useless. Going over my head straight to you? That's terrible. I'm the homeroom teacher here. I should be the one answering to them. This is my fault for always going away on business trips and leaving you to fend off the wolves on your own. They must have given you hell. I'm so sorry. No, I'm the assistant homeroom teacher. It's my duty to tend the class in your absence. In fact, it's been my honor to have you entrust me with your students. It's just that lately... No matter what I say, every last student in class 2-9 makes a joke of it. And if I react too strongly, they all start to talk back. They must hate me by now. But I don't blame the parents. The bottom line is what's important. It's all about results. And what I want most of all is for these kids to get good grades. For their own futures, if nothing else. And if they get good grades, then maybe their parents will leave me alone. I want, I want you to close your eyes and think back. Think back to what? <laughs> to your students, of course. Every day, you give 110% for them. And you know as well as I do that some of them truly appreciate it. Any guesses which ones? You really think any of them care? Absolutely. How about Shinozaki, who usually hates her teachers? She's in the staff room asking questions every day. And Kishinuma, who almost never came to school at all last year, has been here at least four times each week since you started. Never thought I'd see the day. The students have taken notice, and they appreciate you. Believe me, they don't hate you one bit. But even if that's true, I still don't get results. I mean, they may like me, but if they don't get the grades to back it up, their parents never will. And more importantly, if my students can't get good grades, then I failed them as a teacher. 
保護者側の立場としても学校側の立場としても It's true that things may look different from the parents' point of view than they do from the schools. 成績評価はとても重要なものだ。しかしまあ、これは僕の考えだが。And a student's ability to excel is indeed of the utmost importance, but the way I see it, 僕は結果と同じくらい、いや、それ以上に家庭が大事だと思っている。The means through which you teach those students is just as important as the material they learn. In fact, it may be even more important. 生徒たちがたった3年間の短い期間で、We only get these children for three short years. いかに楽しく、有意義に過ごすことができたか。During that time, one must wonder, did they enjoy their classes? Will they remember them as valuable, meaningful experiences? 悩んで、解決して、成長して、大きくなって。After all their worries, resolutions, life lessons, and moments of personal growth. 卒業の時に、楽しかったって言わせてやるのが。Will they look back at these three years during graduation and say, I really enjoyed this school? 授業と同じくらい大事な教師の仕事だと思うんだ。Ensuring that they do is just as much part of the teacher's job as the material she teaches. 篠崎や岸沼だけじゃない。And it's not just Shinozaki and Kishinima. 家庭の事情で塞ぎ込み気味だった篠原も、中島や君と出会って明るくなった。Think about Shinoharu, whose home life had been really getting her down, and Nakashima. After they met you, their smiles seemed to get a lot brighter. Shinohara san ga? Ha 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 As soon as you start asking yourself that question without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher through and through. In fact, I'd even say once you reach that point, you've, based,、uh, you've proven that education is in your nature, basically, that you were born to teach. And no one can take that honor away from you. So, how about you reclaim what's rightfully yours, hmm? Kimia, Gaksu, j i d a to Honto ni Kara Naina. It's remarkable how little you've changed from when you were a student here yourself. Nayami ga Arto, it's mo boku no tokoro ni sodan ni kite kureteita. Whenever you had something on your mind, you'd always seek my guidance. Oh, Kina, many Namida o ipai tamete ne. With eyes wide and full of tears. You shouldn't strain yourself so much, Shishido. Enjoy what you do. You get to spend every precious day with a whole host of interesting youths. Wait till you get to your first graduation and have someone tell you, Thanks for everything, teach. It's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> oh, it's so sad that she's never going to get to experience that. I wish we could have saved her. I wish there was one, one ending where I could have saved her. I'll get in contact with the parents and guardians and try to set them straight. わかりやすい授業の作り方はまた明日にでも一緒に考えよう。And tomorrow or whenever you'd like, we can go over some lesson plans together to help ensure we get these students to their graduation safe and sound. And it's so sad too the fact that,、uh, with the exception of the students who survived, nobody remembers her in the, I guess, the, you know, the true ending. I'm glad we get this though. I'm glad we get a little bit more backstory to her because I just felt like she was so forgotten about through this story. Hmm? Thanks for everything, Teach. Ah, 
You bet. You know, that's another great feeling. Being able to pass the torch and rely on one of your old students to keep your affairs in order. A dream? I feel like I've been dreaming for a long time. A terrible, ominous dream where Nakashima and the others all lost their lives. I wonder where I am. Oh, what? Oh! <gasps> what? So, this is- okay, so this is after that whole thing that happened. Oh my gosh. So we do get a, a, a little bit of a resolution after she saved a Yumi. Oh my gosh. But- Oh boy. But she's gonna die anyway. Now I remember, I got buried in rubble after that. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, because that- This is from chapter- This is from the last chapter that this happened in, was it not? I'm pretty sure it was. So it's like we're getting a flash forward to what's to come, but we're only in chapter four right now. Shinozaki, I hope you were able to get out safely. <laughs> Oh boy, what can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher through and through. Oh my gosh, oh this is so sad. I guess I did finally become a little more like the teacher I wanted to be. But it hasn't even been a year. I can't move my body. I can't even feel my lower half. Everything below my neck, paralyzed. And she's smiling because she's like, I did what I was supposed to do. I protected my students. It's so dark. So lonely. Aww. I wanted to live just a little longer. Oh, God, this is the... I think this is the most upsetting one. Am I crying? I'm almost dead. And here I am. Crying. I don't like most of my teachers very much. But I love Miss Shishido. She feels almost like a big sister to me. Miss Yue, is it true you have a cat? I was thinking of adopting this little guy, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Here, have a look. <laughs> I wasn't asking you. Hey, Miss Yue. How about that floopy droopy panda necklace you've got? Are you wearing it right now? It's <laughs> really he was commenting on her boobs. Nice, nice. Commenting was like I can't see it because of the whatever. Ow! That was quite a punch. Miss Yue, I I'll I'll write you once I get settled in at my new school. N not just now, but even after I grow up, I'll keep writing. 
I just want you to always be my teacher. Would that be okay? Miss Yue, your bike chain came off today, no? I've never seen you take a spill like that before. <laughs> you look so forlorn. It was kind of cute. Aww. Aww. This is like up there with the uh, thing at the end with um, Seiko spamming Naomi with the, with the text. This is really sad. I wish you all the very best. Please, don't die. Forge a path for yourselves. Don't let your future slip away. I'm so cold. Mom. Dad. This is crazy to me because she's like... She's a teacher, but she's younger than I am, and so she's still, she's still, you know, not too far removed from being a teenager herself. Mo oh, her cat, Monet. I feel so alone. I'm scared. Oh, okay, so there we are. Oh, that was rough. Whew, I'm glad I got that. As sad as it is, I'm glad I got that closure about, you know, what happened to her. Now we know for sure she's, she's dead. There's a spirit here. Back away slowly. Or look right at him. He's staring right at... The deep black iris of the boy's spirit's left eye transfixes Ayumi's gaze. It begins slowly expanding in size. I can't... Move my body. The boy's iris continues to grow, slowly and methodically enveloping Ayumi until only blackness remains. The world vanishes into nothingness as the soulless muscle becomes an all-encompassing void, blotting out the whole of existence. Suddenly, in the distance, a tiny white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own una uh, unnatural light. Why? Why? No. No. Why? Please, please no. I'm so scared, please. The face seems distorted as if being viewed through water. Its expression shifts and wobbles for a bit, until finally, with some effort, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Somebody, somebody, please, help! What was that? Did something get stuck in the drain? Oh, ho, ho, grizzly. Oh, her entrails and everything. Shinozaki, that's Shinozaki. 
Why? Why did this have to happen? No, Shinazaki. I... <laughs> Not to uh, not to make fun of Yoshiki because I'm the one who controlled him, but I love how it's like the pump room. It says, "Wait until all swimmers are out before draining the pool." And he's like, "I should drain the pool while she's still in there." Ah! And then be like, "Why did this have to happen? It was all you, buddy." <laughs> ah! This bad end co compilation is a lot of just Yoshiki just suffering a lot. Killing Ayumi over and over by accident. Yoshiki, <laughs> Alright, now there's nothing keeping us in this godforsaken school anymore. Let's just find Nakashima and get the hell out of here. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Oh? Naomi! Fujika! Naomi, are you okay? Nakashima! Nakashima! You really had us worried. Good to see you're uninjured, at least. Did you find Shinohara? Nakashima, I wish we could take Shinohara back with us. But I don't see any way that would work. The longer we stay here, the more likely it is that our way out will be closed. I think we should just leave while we can. I don't think we can bring Shinohara back with us. I wish we could. If we don't hurry, we'll, uh, we're gonna get attacked and we'll all wind up as part of the school. I hate to do it, but we really need to get out of here while we have the chance. Okay. Alright, let's begin. Everyone, gather around. Sachiko, we beg of you. Was I asleep? This is my room. But I don't remember escaping from that school where everybody died. I was definitely there, though. I wish I could forget Shinohara's lifeless face and Morishige's panicked voice. There's no way it was a dream. Good morning, big brother. Yuka, good morning. What's up? You seem awfully peppy. Did she make it back with me? Breakfast! Breakfast, silly! If you don't come down, none of us can start eating. Uh, okay. Actually, I think I'll skip breakfast this morning. Why? I'm not especially hungry. I'm sure you can understand. That's no excuse. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, you know. Look, just leave me alone, okay? You were there too. You saw what happened yesterday. Bad 
Big Brother, are you crying? Did you have a scary dream? Yuka, umai. Yuka, didn't you? Mochita, Mochita, oh. Oh, Seiko, it's good to hear her again. You look pretty down. You okay? Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I bet I know what it is. Your heart's just all a flutter because we got paired together for tending shop today. Am I right? What are you talking about? <laughs> Pervert. Huh? What? <laughs> Lusty boy. Am I dreaming now? Or was everything else just a dream? Morning, everybody. Brought some bowls for the soup. Think this'll be enough? Ohayo. Morning. Ohayo. Good morning. Yeah, that looks like plenty. <laughs> Top of the morning, you sexy beast. I guess it really was just a nightmare. <laughs> Seiko, how many times have I told you? Stop grabbing my ass. <laughs> Cut it out. Jeez. Come on now, we need to get these bowls cleaned. Wait, this is like deja vu. In fact, this is exactly how it was. It's the same as my dream, the dream where we all got sent to Heavenly Host. Was it real after all? Is the whole day just restarting? I have to put a stop to it. Eh? What are you going on about now? Heavenly Host Elementary School. Ooh, I was surprised I've he uh, you've heard of it, Mochita. I was actually planning on telling you guys a ghost story about that place later tonight. Satoshi, don't tell me you've been slacking in your duties and daydreaming about some haunted school now. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Not like he's the only one who's been slacking, though, Shig. I haven't been slacking. I simply need to go make copies of the script for Drama Club. I don't know, Morishige. That sounds like an excuse to me. Come on then, come on. It's your turn, right, Mochita? Your post awaits. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart in eight pieces. And Satoshi's like, you guys, have fun with that. I'm going to be over here. Maybe you should have pulled Yuka away. And then just been like, alright, peace out, guys. I'm not... Because Yuka would listen to him, I would think. The other ones, I don't know. But Yuka would do what he told her to do. Stop. Everybody stop. Mochita, what is it? Do you want in after all? No! Absolutely not! I just- this charm is dangerous. Why won't you understand? I gotta say, it's pretty unusual for you to get so worked up. <laughs> 
Well, we're almost finished, so just sit tight, okay? It'll all be over soon. <gasps> oh boy, so it is just repeating itself. He couldn't even do anything to stop it. They're going to get whisked, uh, whisked away to Heavenly Host. If I don't go too, Naomi, all of them will be in terrible danger. <laughs> Jeez, that's rough. <laughs> Knowing what's going to happen, he goes in anyway because he wants to save everybody. All right, let's welcome one more into the circle. What can I do? What can I do to protect them this time around? And apparently this is like the canon ending because um, from what I've uh, read about it, it's like this is the, uh, this is leads into the sequel. So this is what people are supposed to get, but it also says it's a wrong end. I'm very confused by that. This feels so wrong, I'm basically gonna be like, all right, come here. Come on. There we go, hello. Oh, this feels so very wrong. So very wrong. Oh, this is the one I feel like is gonna be the most upsetting. Oh, live rabbits are so very noisy. Shinema, let's go, please, for our friends. Come on, for Mochita. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but no. I don't want to set one foot to that hellhole ever again. And you shouldn't either. We'd have to be out of our fucking minds to go back there. We'd die for sure. I like to believe, I know that I've, uh, by getting Yuka captured, I've railroaded uh, myself into him refusing to go, but I want to believe it was her saying, for Mochita, we have to go back, and that was like the snapping point for him, where he's like, oh my god, all you care about is Satoshi, and I'm sick of it. Why? Why? Why do you always have to be like that? Oof, that's what I hate about you. You don't give a shit about anyone's feelings but your own, and you're so stubborn once you've set your mind on something. Okay, I know in this point he seems like a dick a little bit for not going back and saving his friends, but for her to say that he, he doesn't care about anyone's feelings, he's been protecting her this whole time. Are you honestly saying you're fine as long as you get through this alive? Oh, don't you dare try to psychoanalyze me. We'll die, and I don't want to die. That clear enough for you? Fine, do, it, uh, do whatever the hell you want. It was stupid of me to even bother asking you. I'll go by myself. Alrighty, Yumi, don't act like you haven't been relying on him this whole time. I can't believe you. Do you really not care about rescuing your friends? You're a delinquent, a coward, a fucking pussy. Everyone's going to die and you don't even care. Oh, it's coming out here. You don't care about everyone either. The only person you care about is Satoshi. <sighs> Oh my gosh, he's been holding this all in. You can drop the act, it's gotten pretty fucking old. And she's not denying it. Always Mochita this, Mochita that. Well, I hope you two are happy together in eternal damnation. But before you go, at least try to read the writing on the fucking wall. 
味わかんない I have no idea what you're talking about お前のことが好きだっつってあーあー Oh man this is this is I'm telling you I love you god damn it What? お前はいつもそうだった You're so oblivious いつでもあいつのことばかり見てた俺の気も知らずに You've been watching Satoshi so closely you never even noticed how much I care about you I, I do like these other endings because it's like things about like we never would have found out that weird the weird feelings that Yuka has for her brother and these feelings that Yoshiki has had for Yuma and he's always kind of kept them to himself until now and I wouldn't get this if I wasn't doing the other end so I'm glad I'm doing these <laughs> I mean, this has been a weird situation and all, but when we got separated from him, and you and I wound up alone together... Ugh. I have to admit, it made me kind of happy. Aww. I thought maybe it would be a good chance to catch your eye and draw it away from his. See, he's a good guy though, because he's not all about, like... He kept it to himself, and... He never really got upset with her every time she was always going on about, like, we have to find Satoshi. He was just like, he respected her feelings and he didn't, you know, get upset about it until now is the breaking point, I guess. But the whole time, all you could think about was him. He probably kept wishing it was Satoshi by your side instead of me. Aww. Well, Satoshi's not here. I am. So look at me, damn it. From the bottom of my heart, I... Stop it. Just... Stop it, please. How could you think any of that is true? Oh, Mo Mochita's not the only one I'm worried about. Remember just a few short hours ago, when everyone was cleaning up after the culture festival and complaining about it the whole time? Isn't that a precious memory to you? I want us to have experiences like that again. There's still so much I want to share with all of you. That's why I'm going back, because if I don't, we can never be together again, and the thought of that absolutely mortifies me. And no, no mention at all about his, his, uh, love confession right there. Okay. So please, Yuki, take me back. I don't care if I have to go it alone. Just please hurry before it's too late. She's like, also, I want to get out of here because this is awkward as fuck right now. <laughs> if she doesn't feel the same way about him. You're certain? Yes, please. As you wish. Just for the record, Kishinama? I'm absolutely terrified of this, but I'm still doing it. God damn it, do whatever the hell you want. I'm going home. And this is crazy compared to how... <laughs> We're collecting to buy a bouquet of flowers for our dear friend Suzume, who will be leaving us for a new school after the festival. 300 yen per person. They're... they're all gone now. <laughs> What does it even matter? It'll just be like my 10th grade year all over again. I can go back to being a lone wolf. No biggie. I'm pretty much used to it, honestly. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, hey, Yoshiki. What are you up to? Satoshi? What's that face? 
What kind of face is that? You've been skipping meals again or something? Kishinama, you're late. But you seem in good spirits again today, at least. There we go. You don't care about everyone either. The only person you care about is Satoshi. What the hell was I thinking? Why would I have said that to her? That wasn't it at all. It's not even remotely what I wanted to say. I just wanted to protect her. Aww, what in the fuck is wrong with me? I'll probably never see her again. I take it back. I take it all back. Please, God, let me take it back. It's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends anyway. That's the gist of it. God damn it, show yourself. Get out here, ghost girl. Please, I'm begging you. How could I be such an asshole? Please, I don't... I don't want to lose them. Shinozaki, Satoshi, Miss Yue, everybody. Sorry, but please, take me too. I was about to run from this, the way I always do. But when I first started hanging out with those losers, I felt like I was reborn. So please... Shinozaki is scared of everything, but even she's giving this her best shot, and I'm not about to let her upstage me. I swear, we're going to wretch that repentance from uh, Sachiko with our bare hands if we have to, and put all the rest of you at peace once and for all. <laughs> what the? I got a text? But I've had no service this whole time. Actually, I still have no service. Shinozaki, where are you? I'm here too. Let's meet up. Kishinama, you came through after all. Let's see if he gets my reply. I'm worried about you being all by yourself. Jerk. I appreciate it. I was starting to feel kind of overwhelmed. Come quickly. And send. I do feel a little better now. Wow. Ayumi, you jerk. Actually, that was probably the first time I've ever responded to a text message from Kishinama. Poor dude, man. He's putting his heart out there. And she is just... so flippant about it.
But he's not coming, is he? Maybe I should try texting him again. What are you doing? Where are you? Phone probably just realized it's supposed to have no service here, that's all. But if he's in the school, I'm sure I'll run into him eventually. Oh no, Yuka, I forgot about her. Oh boy, I hope it's not gonna go into too much detail about what he's doing. Now then, Yuka. I'm going to kill you. Like it or not, it's going to happen. <laughs> Quite an unexpected change from the doldrums of junior high, no? The realization that your existence will soon come to an end. Can you believe it? I'm still shook that Yuka is in junior high school. She seems like she's eight years old. When you woke up this morning, did you say to yourself, I'm going to die today? People who die in traffic accidents don't ever know what's coming. They wake up, get out of bed, wash their faces. And all the while, the thought they're going to die that day never even enters their minds. Well, take heart. The situation isn't all that different when you think about it. Death is not an unexpected occurrence. It's not random chance. Death is always lurking in the shadows every minute of every day. It's because people forget that, that death takes them by surprise. It's the very height of folly. However, therein lies the appeal. Oh! Did he just stab her in the head? You see, Yuka, I've wit I witnessed a great many in my life. I've touched them, felt them. The final moments of life from a wide variety of living beings. I hate that this guy is still alive. I hate this. And every one of them always struggled to live till the bitter end, never giving up the fight. But I've watched those final sparks of life burn down to nothing. I've seen them go out. And it's in that last desperate moment that the fire of one's life shines most beautifully. Humans, you see, have brains that allow them to consider various possibilities and communicate those possibilities with other humans. But they rarely ever use their brains to truly explore the concepts of life and death. They, they forego ruminating on the meaning of life and the laws of the universe, instead opting to use their cognitive abilities for pointless waste of time. They stop focusing their energy on giving some semblance of purpose to their pitiful existences, and simply indulge themselves in earthly pleasures. Some are even foolish enough to kill themselves. 
It's like everyone in this world is a gibbering idiot. Kazami is like the epitome of like the I'm smarter than you, I'm so deep, whatever. But you see, I'm fascinated by it. When a person becomes aware of his or her own impending demise, or better yet, is in the process of dying, what sort of fireworks will that last spark of life become? Quite simply, the answer to that is what I crave. Kurosaki's death was absolutely exquisite. I believe he may even have understood me in the end. He must have to show me such a breathtaking display. <laughs> Yukai, you're my little sister. You wouldn't be so unsisterly as to feign no reaction, I trust. After what I'm about to do to you, you will show me the dance of death I so desire, will you not? If it's agonizing, you're welcome to scream bloody murder. No need to hold back on my account. Okay. I thought maybe she was already dead? Oh boy. Oh, please don't. Please don't show it. That's it. That's perfect. Give me more. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why did I come back? Oh, whatever, Yumi. Don't blame him. And why did Kishinima let me come back? Shouldn't he have tried harder to stop me? Can she not take, like, ownership of her actions? She's always got to blame someone else for it. Come on. What the hell is wrong with me? What if I die here, for nothing, without ever seeing any of my friends again? <laughs> oh my god, it's a student ID from Kisaragi Academy. Someone we know must be nearby. It's Nakashima's. Oh, well, that didn't last very long. No, stop. Oh boy. Oh, so creepy. Good, good. Keep on shining for me. You're beautiful. You're stunning. Try this, Yuka. Think about your favorite food and your favorite drink, your favorite books and TV shows. How does it make you feel? How does it feel to know that you'll never experience any of them ever again? Once you die, that's it. Everything stops. Everything ends. These are your final moments. <laughs> oh, 
Death is upon you. You're going to die. <laughs> Shall we begin? It's showtime. Nice. <laughs> Are you here to save me? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, jeez. Okay. Class rep, take care, okay? Nakashima. Don't get too close to Mochida. Huh? What the hell? Damn it all! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Why am I so stupid? I'm sure even Mochita was freaked out by that last comment. My god damn it, how was I supposed to react? I don't know if this is, like, the school taking over her, or if she is just being completely insane, like, jealous. What am I doing, anyway? I didn't even give Nakashima back her student ID. Or the paper scrap inside. I'm a crassy, uh, crappy class rep. I guess I can just give them back to her later, though. But really, she's right. Even if we did track down Sachiko, I don't have the slightest idea how we could possibly elicit any remorse from her. I guess I'll just have to find Miss Yue, and then even if we have to use that way out... Let's get the hell out of here. All of us, together. You still have your paper doll scrap, right, Satoshi? Yep. Got it right here. I've got mine, too. Right? No. No. God, no. Where did I put it? My student ID is missing and my paper scrap is in it. Naomi, Ochitsuke. Calm down, Naomi. We'll find it. We just have to keep our eyes open. Okay. But, I swear, I, I definitely... Definitely had it in my skirt pocket. I remember it clearly. I showed it to Seiko and everything, but it's gone. It's just gone. What the hell is wrong with me? If we can't find it, then I can't go home. There's no need to worry. You had it earlier, right? It must be somewhere in here. I'm sure we'll find it along the way. But what if we don't? And I'll be left behind here. Just me. All by myself here. Naomi, it's okay. You definitely don't need to worry about that. I would never leave this place without you. <laughs> the way out can wait. Right now, let's just concentrate on finding your paper scrap. <laughs> Nakashima-san. 
Didn't you hear what I said to you? Do I have to spell it out? Class rep. Oh boy. Oh. I. Uh, is she possessed right now? Bitch. Shinozaki, glad to see you're still alright. Did you find Miss Yue? I did not. Yeah, this this does not sound like a Yumi. That's too bad. We... Well, we found more Shige, but it was too late. But we did learn something. So I heard. Seems you two found the way out as well. Nakashima oh, she is delighting in this. Nakashima. What? What is it? What's your problem? Perchance, is this what you're looking for? It's, it's my... It is indeed your student ID. The Sachiko paper scrap is safe and sound too, see? Oh no. Shinozaki, you're a lifesaver. Where did you find it? Oh, I'm waiting for her. Is she just gonna like toss it into that hole? Because then Naomi won't be able to go home and then she's gonna have, uh, gonna have Satoshi all to herself. Class rep, thank you. Thank you so much. I was so worried when I couldn't find it. I was afraid I'd never be able to go home. That I'd be trapped here forever. Oh, I understand completely, Nakashima. Oh boy. Under these circumstances, this is essentially your life. This tiny, insignificant scrap of paper is your only real hope of surviving. Uh oh. Oh, how clumsy of me. I seem to have dropped it. You want it, don't you? Please. This isn't funny. Just give it back. Funny? It's not a joke. If this is really that important to you, then you get down on your knees and you beg for it. Why the hell are you just standing there staring at me like an idiot anyway? Oh, what? Shinozaki, what's gotten into you? Not gonna do it? Guess you mustn't want it all that badly after all. Look. Please. Please give it back. Say it right. Please, I beg of you, do me the honor of returning my student ID. I guess it's not worth that much to you. Maybe I'll just burn it then. Oh, shit. Getting closer. Getting closer. Do I burn it or do I spare it? That is the question. Stop it. Please, give it back, give it back. Flick. Whoosh. Bye-bye. No, please, please stop. Oh my god, she did it. Look at it burn. Nakashima's lifeline is burning. Burning. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> Fire safety. Gotta stomp out the embers, you know. What the hell is wrong with you? It's simple, Mochida. You and I are going to use that way out to get home. 
And Nakashima, you can just go off somewhere and disappear. Well, I'll see you later, Mochita. Oh my god. Wow. I really want to believe that that was her being possessed and not her being, like, insanely vindictive. Naomi, it's okay. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Damn. That was... That was... That was a bitch thing to do. I did it. I actually did it. I finally put Nakashima in her place. Like, I don't know if Ayumi had this... I, I don't believe, like, there's no way that Ayumi had this much contempt for um, Naomi. I, I want to believe that maybe she had a little bit of jealousy and then being in the school and having the darkening, you know, take her over or and it's magnifying her feelings by a hundredfold. <sighs> Feels so good because I like pretty much every character in this game with the exception of a couple. But if, uh, if this is how Yumi really is, if this is how evil she is capable of without, you know, the um, influence of the school, then she is, she is irredeemable. I just wish I'd been able to give her a good ass-kicking while I was at it. Oh my god, that scream. That scream of utter helplessness. Thinking about it just makes me so giddy. Yeah, this is this is definitely she's darkening. Like there's no way she she's this evil. I don't give a crap about what happens to Nakashima, but I do still have to find Miss Yui. But then she's got in the <laughs> what? I guess I should look around a bit more. What's this? A brown envelope is resting prominently atop the bodies of Naho and Kibiki. It definitely wasn't there before. Too dark to see what's in it here. Let's step outside and take a look. It's... A photograph. <gasps> No, no, it can't be. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. A photograph in the envelope clearly depicts Yuka, and she doesn't look well. That's putting mildly looks like she's missing the top of her head. I thought I saw her brains there. And now Sato, she's going to give in. Everyone's going to give in to the darkening. Ayumi already has. Sato, she is. Naomi is going to as well. It's it's going to be bad. Everyone... Everyone is just having a bad time. This room seems to be set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. What's happening? I was like, I don't feel too bad if anything bad happens to her. Everyone else I feel legit guilty about. My head, my head is throbbing. <laughs> Why isn't anyone coming to help me? A nosebleed now? I need a tissue. <laughs> or you need a... You need a... Yoshiki's uh, shirt sleeve or whatever. Oh, I wonder where he is. I haven't seen him yet. As Ayumi pulled a tissue from her pocket, she inadvertently pulled out her student ID as well. Oh, is she going to lose hers too? Oh, the karma. Oh, the karma. It slipped from her hand and immediately fell through a hole in the floor as if sucked down from below. Why? Why? My student ID. 
my paper doll scrap. And just think, if you hadn't burned Naomi's, I wonder if this is the school doing this as, like, retribution? <gasps> Miss Yue still shows up, okay. What's going on here? What? What? Okay. Wow, poor Miss Yue, she literally just shows up for like two seconds and then dies. Like, is there an ending? Is there a possibility for Miss Yue? Like, we never really got, I don't know, I guess, I, I don't feel like I got um, closure on her, I guess, because I didn't actually see her die. In, in my mind, maybe there's a way to save her, even though I don't think there is. <laughs> Miss Yue, I'm so sorry. Shinema, where the hell are you? What are you doing? Why aren't you responding? Write me back, for God's sake. You really did follow me here, then show me your damn face already. Oh. 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 Poor boy. Oh, poor baby boy. I wonder if he's gonna kill her? Do you have any idea how worried I've been? If you don't respond to my text, how am I supposed to know you're alright? Do you have no service or something? Did you run out of batteries? Oh boy. Poor Kishinima, he came in to help and then, like, immediately got darkened. Satoshi, are you alright? Yuka. 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 She was probably scared out of her mind and in a lot of pain. And I. I wasn't there for her. She was all alone. And now it's the other way around. Before it was Satoshi trying to tell Naomi it wasn't her fault. And now, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault, Satoshi. Naomi. Oh, and she's... Oh, it's not your fault. Are they both gonna darken right now? So... Whose fault is it then? Whose fault is it, Naomi? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Show yourself, whoever the fuck you are. You must be getting a real good laugh out of watching us suffer. What is it? Oh. I just happened to glance out the window at the covered walkway between the two buildings, and I saw a red dress he's gonna go after her, just like um, Naomi went after the uh, the guy with the hammer. Goddamn piece of shit, little girl. I'm gonna make her pay for what she's done. You have no right to mess with the living. And now Naomi's gotta chase after him. Hold it right there, Sachiko. Oh. Wow, this is all progressing. Oh, Jesus. This is all progressing very quickly. Satoshi! Satoshi! Please! What happened? Satoshi, pull yourself together. What happened to you? Naomi. Oh, Naomi. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make it. What are you talking about? What's gotten into you? I've lost my will to live. Don't say that. Oh, this is my paper doll scrap. I want you to have it. Oh, yeah, that's... That's not going to be insanely awkward. You need to find Shinozaki and then go home. Don't 
stop talking like that. Don't give up. It is weird to see Satoshi be the one to say that he gives up. He's been the one that I feel has been the most, like, optimistic, I suppose. If you need a reason to keep on living, then I'll give you one. Do it for me, damn it. Keep on living for me. He's like, I'm sorry, you're not, you're not good enough. Now me. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's gonna happen here? Miss Yue is dead. Everyone's dead. Miss Yue. Uh oh. Oh, she's gonna try and take it from her. Nakashima, where did you get that paper doll scrap? Is it Mochita's? Oh. No, Satoshi still has his own. This is Yuka's. Poor girl. She didn't make it either. So that means there are two between the both of you. Or Ayumi's like, can you give me one? And Naomi's gonna be like, uh, fuck you. Maybe she'll rip up the other one. Oh. Oh boy, that face. Sorry to ask, but can I have that one? You're a real jackass. You know that? Naomi, I feel like that's that's being too kind to her. Actually, I'm only asking because I wound up losing mine, so give it here. Oh, wow. Wow. Jesus. Damn. Wow. Jesus. Check it out, Mochita. I killed her. Oh, boy. I killed her. Killed her, killed her, killed her. I killed her, killed her dead. She's the scariest person in this game. The, the filthy pig is gone now. You're free to be with me. Come on, let's get out of here together. Sorry, Nakashima. It looks like I get the guy after all. The darkening. Oh, snap. Good job, Ayumi. Good job. You killed your the one person that you had to be able... Like, the one person that was remaining. Good job. If Mochita's not with me, then how do I get back home? Good job. No. That's... Damn, that was, that was the most insane one yet because everybody pretty much died except one person left alone. Woo. Man, that was a long one. That was good though. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that lovely compilation of Bad Ends. I will be releasing my extra chapter compilation video probably next Monday as well. I'm still missing a few, despite the fact that I did get all of the ends. I don't know why. I'm going to try and get those done, but if I don't have time, uh, I got all but three. So 
Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.